welcome to Let's Play Mass Effect. I am live streaming on Twitch. Um, I'm and my character is Jasmine, and I'm here with Caden and Rex. We're in the Citadel. Um, we're here to talk to this guy named Chelik because we're trying to help this. Read his sister Jenna. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorbin, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I. I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. <clears throat> hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. Kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. This guy seems a bit... paranoid. How can I help? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Nice mouth there you got, um, Kaden. You just told our little secret. You know, it's like, we could get in trouble for that. And you had to go blabbing. <laughs> uh, okay, good point. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck! Alrighty. This episode is sponsored by Gia Designs. Tattoos, piercings, clothing for your second life avatar. Uh, okay, we got a computer... So, begin manual override. Okay. Person of interest. CSEC is investigating a woman named Helena Blake. There's no hard evidence against her, but if these reports are correct, She's a powerful criminal element on the Citadel. She was last seen near the Emporium on the Presidium. Okay. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. You Chellick? No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. 
You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Is it worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you are so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? As part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? You don't need her. You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But, that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. Sure. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Tell me again what makes them illegal. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I can talk to this Jax. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Alright. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. I'm just gonna run about and see if I can find a tracking terminal, huh? Let's see what this is. Codex. I'm just not, you know, I'm just not much for, um, for, uh, reading codexes and, uh, stuff that people generally describe as lore. I prefer to absorb lore from 
playing the game, basically. You know, if they, it's got to be delivered to me in, in an entertaining fashion. Um, rapid transit, like via um, an interesting NPC or a quest. Um, I don't want to have to sit here and read something, you know. Ward location. Markets, I believe, is where we want to go. Okay. Look at the map. Okay, that's the medical clinic. Pig's Pat's store. Now, what does my journal say? Lower Ward's Market. And lower Markets. Well, is this not the Lower Markets? No, this is Upper Ward's. Okay. Um, how do I... Oh, for crying out loud. Let me try to find the lower markets. Maybe if I go down these stairs, then that will be the lower markets. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? Yeah, hi, Conrad. There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. I do my best. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Uh, okay. Hey, can I get your picture? I suppose. I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless I get a picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Yeah, something's kind of strange about him. I don't trust him. <laughs> no telling what he's gonna do with that picture. Uh, at least, you know, it's not a picture of me, um, scantily clad. That's not all I got to say. <laughs> Alright, now, is are we now in the lower wards? Okay, I guess we are. And we got two plot points here. Actually, three, right? Where am I? Okay, I'm here. Alright, let's do a quick save. First things first. It's Jax. Hello. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Uh, maybe. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. You're under arrest. I'm taking you in, Jax. It's a sting! Bastard set us up! The hell are you playing at? You heard me. Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid army bitch. Kill her. Watch out! Okay. 
Let's see what the journal says. Get the weapon shipment to Chalik as he said. Never been a real fan of crowds. Well, good thing there's no crowds here then. Looks like all the gunfire chased away my uh, my other things. There's Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? I'm here about Dr. Michelle. You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? A friend of Dr. Michelle. Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You should reconsider. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained Chief. for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. Not very believable, I don't think. Who's Baines? What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. I need supplies. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Let me see the standard items. don't know what to buy and I don't have a whole lot of money I don't want to buy the wrong thing I'm just not gonna buy anything it's all just too confusing for me I don't know what all these strange names mean you know like such and such armors or such and such weapons I, I have no idea where am I going even I still have one thing here. I'm supposed to talk to Chorbin. But... I don't see Chorbin here. I can't talk to him at the moment. So I'll just move on. Um, let's see, I need to go back to CSEC. I can go back to the upper wards. It'll be good. So let me go to the upper wards. Thank you. 
Commander, how did things go? As expected. He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. Uh, do you know anything about this Baines? Can you tell me about Baines? The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. Who is he? What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Captain Anderson might know him. Hmm. Good idea. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? Uh, no, goodbye. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. All right, um... Gosh. I can't remember things. I have a bad memory, I guess. I don't even know who this Captain Anderson is that was mentioned. How am I supposed to talk to him when I can't remember? Maybe it's the person on the Normandy? There's some sort of... I don't know. I do not know. I cannot remember. Journal. Okay. Um, market, this is. Well, I guess I can try going back to the lower markets. I just don't know. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? Tell me about Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Um, what can you tell me about, uh, CSEC? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You gotta meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Alright, see ya. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. 
Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Huh. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Sorry. Jack's needed killing. Here's your shipment. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. Renegade was nine? Wow. Some renegade in me now. Well, you know, it's like this. It's like the guy was wanting me to give him money, and I don't recall this guy here giving me any money to give them. Why would I give him my money? You know? It's all just so stupid. Oh well. <laughs> I'm all confused. My journal. Lower markets. Well, let's go back to the lower markets. I'm just feeling very confused with this game tonight for some reason. This way. Wrong way, Jose. Locations, markets. And of course, we want to go to the lower markets. We'll go down here. Hello. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? 
I want the truth. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. You... spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? So? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. And did you lead? Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. What? So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? See, I don't know if I say no more, I don't know what that means. No more. I don't know what it, we're going to find out. I'm not breaking regulations for you or your research. Return what you stole or I'll have you arrested. All right. You don't need to ask twice. Well then, no more scanning. I promise. Of course, Jalid still has the initial data, and I doubt he's planning to return it. Mm, don't worry. I'll deal with Jalid. So long, Commander. Look, I'm just supposed to believe this guy. He's just like, he can keep his promise. People don't keep promises. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? If you wanted it to be pronounced Shorbin, why didn't you put an S? It's Chorbin. 
CH is a ch sound. Uh, did I have any luck finding Chorvin? I'm afraid so. I found out you've been lying to me, Jolid. <laughs> lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? <laughs> I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm turning you in. I can't let this continue any further. I'm reporting what you did. But I can't. What will happen to the data when I'm gone? Who will carry on our research? It's a bit late to be thinking about that. But this data could be used to unravel all the secrets of the Keepers. Think what we could learn about the Citadel. Go on. Tell me more about this data. Well, it's still very preliminary, but our initial scans suggest the Keepers are as old as the Citadel itself. We might learn how the Citadel was built, or why the Keepers always rearrange things. The possibilities are limitless. Then do it legally. If it's that important, then take it back to the people it belongs to. I suppose I should. All right, I'll take it back and continue work on it there. Thank you for not turning me in. I'll make the most of this second chance, I promise you. Fine. Have a nice day, Jaleed. Um, Commander, would you be interested in helping me study the Keepers? <laughs> okay, I'll bite. Sounds interesting. What do you need me to do? Just take this scanner. Every time you see a Keeper, scan it. <laughs> Whenever you get a unique scan, I'll reimburse you. That's it. Good luck, and so long. Okay. <clears throat> you know, okay. Uh, let's see what's next. <laughs> Financial district. Financial district, there we go. You arrived at the Presidium Financial District. I I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Is there a problem? You know, I'm just the nosy specter around town, <laughs> asking every into everybody's problems. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Uh... That's your story? I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Oh, 
tell me about the uh, chance of disease. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. And what's the danger of this therapy? What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. I say let her choose. It's her baby. And her decision. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Still her choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. But you're not the father. <laughs> then act like it. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all about you, isn't it? It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. <laughs> just be my usual uh, nosy specter self, but into everybody's business. <laughs> okay. Emporium, near the Emporium. And here's the Emporium, so I'm gonna go uh, this way. Just have a look at this nice scenery here. Isn't that lovely? Fountains and pool and the trees and all the lights and the sky and everything. Okay. This is the aquarium. Shopkeeper. Well, I guess I'll talk to the shopkeeper. Maybe they'll know of something. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. No, I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Big place. Let's 
scan that one. Tranquil, calm, relaxing. Wake me when this is over. Uh, okay, we explored the Emporium. Let's see. She was near the Emporium. Got a moment, uh, here Spectre. She is. Yes, uh, are you Helena? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How do you know me? How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What's your interest in this? And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Defenses. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be <coughs> well prepared. Tell me about known crimes. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. This looks like a setup. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Find someone else to do your dirty work. I want no part of a gang war. Here are the coordinates, nonetheless. What you do with them is your decision. Could you really let these men live, knowing that you can stop them? Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I talked to this guy. He's the one that, that took the picture of me, I believe. An odd man. Okay. Well, I think we've completed a lot of uh, the Citadel stuff and now we basically need to get back to the Normandy if I can remember how to get there
This episode is sponsored by Gia Designs, tattoos, piercings, clothing for your second life avatar.